hi guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i will be telling you this is the guy okay pay we attention see we see each other and this is the guy for your concert this is how you prepare yourself for your k-pop concert or any concert for real i know beyonce started tour like she literally started tour today so if you're going to a concert prepare yourself this won't really tie into the specifics of beyonce because that's a, that's a lot but any concert period this is how you prepare yourself number one buy your ticket you're not going to a concert unless you buy your ticket i know some people be trying to scalp like buy it the last day buy some sketchy people standing outside the concert or whatever sometimes they be selling fake tickets sometimes they don't you pushing your luck for real i don't really know i, I don't really know you do that you 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 bull because uh -uh. But number one, buy your ticket. Buy the concert ticket. You're not going to go to the concert if you don't got those tickets. Okay? And buying the ticket, you know, some concerts is like pre-sale. Some concerts is like everybody got a scrap for a seat. Know how the tickets are going to be put on sale. Like Ticketmaster, SeatGeek. Know where you want to buy from. And if it's pre-sale, obviously sign up before pre-sale ends. So you really guarantee that you're going to have a ticket and have a good ticket. Like, get to pick anywhere. Until, like, because after pre-sale to general admission, most of them seats be full. So, yeah, buy your ticket. After you bought your ticket, step two, figure out transportation. How you going to buy a ticket to the concert, but you don't know how you're going to get there? Figure it out. If you're traveling out of state, you definitely need to figure that out. Because that's... You definitely need to figure that out. But especially, like, come on now. Train, bus, plane. Figure out how you're going to get there. Driving, figure out how you're going to get there. Not just figure out how you get there. Figure out how you ready to go home. How you going to get home after the concert? We know the Ubers be costing like 100 plus at the concert because they be taxing. Because they know people want to go home. It's a lot of people that want to go home. They going to spend some money because they want to go home. So, yeah, you gotta figure out how you're gonna get there and figure out how you're gonna get back. That's step two. At least have the idea in your head. At least have a general plan. We're gonna take an Uber there. We're gonna take this place. We're gonna go up here, take the train back, take an Uber halfway, whatever. Figure it out. Step three. If you're gonna film during a concert, like, and you don't say you're like up in the high seats you're not on the floor not everybody get to be on the floor and that's fine because i'm not gonna be on the floor i'm ready to be i might be up there i'm ready to be up there i'm saying this as someone who's been up there before because i was in the nose bleeds for one direction concert in like 2014 The only way you can really see them is the big screens that's shown like around the arena. You can't see, they look like ants on the stage. You can't make out any facial details. You gotta rely on the big screens if you're up there. So this is what I did. I bought me a lens, a phone lens that zooms in really 28 times. It zooms in like really like, you will really see, like, every pore in a face, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's really good. I tried it out. It's really good. It's, like, people use it to, like, shoot, like, animals, like, you know, to watch the animals and stuff like that. But, obviously, I'm not, I'm not watching no animals. I'm going to a concert. I'm ready to be up there. I want to see. I want to record a fan cam. That's what I wanted to do. That's why I bought this. So, if you want to, if you want to like film a fan cam and you don't have a camera it's a test to your iphone it's a test to your android this will attach to your phone it got like a special like little amount yes when it's on your phone it's heavy but you're gonna keep that real steady if you want to get that fan cam okay <laughs> so i bought this for everyone that's asking oh where you get that from because i saw it on tiktok i saw somebody talk about buying a zoom lens for the phone on tiktok for concerts and i was like i'm doing that because 
I'm sitting up there. I'm not going to be on the floor. I'm not going to be close to them. My videos won't be as good as the people that's on the floor and close to them. Because I'm, I'm going to have to zoom in. My iPhone don't zoom in that much. Like, it zooms in, but it's not that much. Get this. Let me buy this. So I can see them. And so I can fill my fan cam. I actually bought this off Timu. Timu. I think it's out of stock. I'm putting the link in the description, of course, for y'all to go check it out. I, mean, I paid like $30 for this, so. But it's really good quality. You can try to get it off Amazon or like whatever else. And it doesn't really. Oh, this is the brand. Apexel. So, yeah, this is it. Step four. Bring a battery pack. Portable charger. Sometimes I be buying my portable chargers from Five Below, and they don't be they be the price I pay for, which is Five and Below. So I would recommend one that's more high duty than Five and Below, cause you charge them up as soon as you get to the venue, it's gonna be dead. Like you be like, damn, I ain't even plug my phone up to it yet, and it's dead. So I would recommend like you buy it from a different source, maybe like Best Buy or Amazon, cause Five and Below. You gonna be sitting in there like, oh my phone about to die. Let me put my, let me plug it into my portable charger, and your portable charger on one bar. And you like, I, I just charged it for I left, and I didn't use not one part of it. Or or you you bring it out, it's charged on four bars. You plug your phone out for twenty minutes, and now it's on one bar. It's about to die. Your phone only on twenty percent. invest in a good portable charger that's one thing i still need to get now we're on the step five if so this one specifically applies to like if you're going to a k-pop concert obviously just the disclaimer you don't need this to go to the concert the all you need is a concert ticket but it's nice to have which is the light stick i have a light stick but i don't know what it's like I don't have a, like an official one. I bought a bootleg light stick. So I saw 20, I went to KCON in 2018. And when I left out, you know, the bootleg vendors was selling like bootleg merch. <laughs> I bought a bootleg light stick and I bought a bootleg poster. The poster looked pretty good though for it to be bootleg, but I think it was a bootleg poster. The light stick was definitely bootleg. Like, as soon as I got it, that shit broke. <laughs> and it was a one-on-one -on -one little fake light stick. I was like, they got me. It only cost me $5, too. So, I was like, I was like, $5? That's a steal. Get a light stick. Um, I really want to get a light stick for Twice concert. That's what I'm going to see, guys. But I don't know if it's really practical for me. I really want one because I feel like it really bring out that that little experience. Cause I know you know that's just like that's the one part of the, being a K-pop fan and like going to a K-pop concert. It's like yeah, I got my likes it, and you know they be selling them there, but them lines be like how long? I know one thing for sure though. I I think if I get it, I'm gonna get it before the concert. Cause ain't no way that's crazy. I, I don't like standing in lines for long. Next thing. I don't know what step we on, but the next step. Plan your outfit. Whatever you're going to wear, plan it. I told you, I was trying to plan this nylon pop outfit with a butterfly top, but my butterfly top came and it's not the right side. And you know, in the U.S., we have a lot of shootings. I don't know if I'm going to get flagged for saying shootings. But we have a lot of public shooting. It's not safe to be out in public, for real. In America, at least. Gotta have a clear bag. We go into the venues most of the time. A clear bag so they can see exactly what you got. You're not hiding, and you're not hiring, hiding no firearm or nothing dangerous that hurt people. So at my concert, it says we gotta have a clear bag. So. Look, look at where your concert going to be like search up the venue and check and see what's the policy on bags can I wear a bag that's not clear if it say yes or no and it will tell you the dimensions of like how big the bag can be or how small the bag can be next since you're buying a clear bag get a card holder the card holder obviously don't got to be clear but 
you know, you at the concert, you might want to buy a little t-shirt. Going to a concert, if they have like interludes where, you know, it's like a three minute change or a three minute break for them. You should know that because that's when you can get your little three minute break. You can run to the bathroom real quick when they interview. So you want to know the set list. Because obviously, you want to know the songs they're going to be singing and playing and dancing to. Here's a, a advice. If you go to a concert, you book your ticket, you go in there, you know, you don't know where to go. Obviously, they have staff. So ask the staff members and they're going to tell you, oh, okay, I'll tell you where to go. And they'll follow you, follow them to the, to the whatever. Or you find it on your own, period. And somebody's sitting in your seat. Say somebody's sitting in your seat that you pay for. You go, your seat is E23. Okay, let me walk over to the E section. Wait a minute, I'm at E. E1, E10, E20. Okay, 21, Somebody's sitting right there. Hmm. Let me, let me make sure, to double check. Let me make sure this is E23. E20. E21, E22, E23. I know a lot of y'all, because a lot of people, they have such a big online persona. Like, this generation is just some, they just some online thugs, for real. But when it comes to real life, in a situation they could actually use what they be saying online, they don't do it. So... Somebody's sending your seat. You pay for your ticket. They obviously not supposed to be there unless it's some error. This is what you do. What do you do when somebody's sending your seat and you know that's your seat because you're E23 and they send an E23? You go up to them, show them your ticket. I'm E23. This E23. Yeah, so you're going to have to get up. Like, most of the time when people do that, they're like, sitting somewhere that's obviously not their ticket number and you know it's closer than where they were before this actually happened to me i'm that's why i'm giving y'all this advice because i had to do that to somebody i had to do that at the k-con concert in 2018 um i walked up to the seat and the girl was sitting in it double checked this the seat excuse me you're sitting in my seat. This this my this my seat. Like showing her the phone. Like this my ticket. This my seat. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And gonna move over. And but my girl had somebody else with me, so I'm like, no, that's her seat. Now you gotta move over again, back to your original seat. Have that mindset. If somebody's sitting in your seat. Move or be moved. That's why I'm telling y'all to go fight somebody at the concert. Because if y'all fight, y'all both gonna get kicked out and y'all not gonna be able to see it. Obviously, if they don't wanna move, go tell a staff member. One more thing make sure you have space on your phone or your lab or your camera. Just make sure you have space. Because nothing worse than going to a concert. I This happened to me. I was trying to record. I ain't had space. I was trying to record on Snapchat. I ain't had space. Because your snapchat be like oh you don't got space so you can't save this video how do you know why you all up in my phone like y'all don't got your own little storage system set up so i wasn't i clearly wasn't prepared but this time i will be because i made this video um if you have any other tips for people going to concerts comment them down below okay comment if you think i gave y'all some good advice um yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. Bye.